so guys in this video we'll be creating this special snoot effect this uh window blind effect and also with adding some reflection and the special thing about this video is uh, we are not using any external file everything is created here in photoshop you'll be learning a whole lot so before any other thing you can see we have to remove the background because we are going to be manipulating the background creating all the special effect on the background so you see we first duplicated the background layer and renamed it subject because we'll be maxing out the subject from the background you can see that I remove background does a very good job like it almost selected most part of the subject but now we have to go on to uh, refine the selection using the brush tool you can see why brushing this is not working even while the foreground is white flow 100 is still not working why you see why soon and that is because the brush mode is on overlay it's supposed to be on normal sometimes when you see your brush behaving abnormally like behaving not in the way you expect try to check some of those property settings up here or just reset your brush so that's it you can see we use the brush to refine this selection uh, if you don't know how to get this a red overlay as in just click on this slash that's above your enter key your keyboard that is the four slash i think or is it the backward i don't know but it's the slash key after the uh bracket close key just close to your backspace so uh that's how to see that effect now we're going to uh, create the uh first the smooth effect that is the window reflection effect uh, we do this on a new layer you see how we'll be doing it real soon uh, this will create the rectangle shape you can use any shape even costume shape or use pen to or any uh, method to create this shape but for this we'll be using the rectangle shape you can use a cycle a ellipse or any other stuff so you can see me creating this uh the color was changed to white uh sorry the color was changed to black so that you can see exactly what is going on because we are on a white background uh, you can rename this to keep your layers organized rename it whatsoever fits right to you uh, then we'll go on to duplicate this group two more times and then we space them accordingly because those are going to be used that is the shape are going to be used very soon to create uh, this brush preset that we'll be using with other adjustment modes and blending options to create this beautiful effect so group them together and uh, rename accordingly then we'll be merging this group uh, right click merge group okay Uh, Ctrl T to bring out the transform option. All right, then right click, choose perspective, just exactly as I just did, and uh, reshape. Now go convert to smart object as seen. Then go to Gaussian blur. We'll be using this radius here 22. Okay. Now go to edit define brush preset you can name it whatever you like because this brush is what we are going to be using in the other uh, document folder here so google change the mode to overlay you can use a bracket key bracket open and close to adjust the size
now click to apply this effect uh, you see we create a new layer so that we'll be able to manipulate this more flexibly so that is exactly why we created this new layer here i'm going to transform flip horizontal and uh, you can see me scale down just to fit this is the point where our choice of preference is coming you set the blending mode to overlay that doesn't mean you cannot use any other blending mode you just go through the blending mode see the one that fits best to the background i think valley generally does a very good job so i can scale to fit okay i'll create another layer just brush size since we are going to create some reflection from that portion we create another one set the blending mode to overlay again i guess opacity uh, by adjusting things like opacity blending mode you create the illusion of distance and other this is time to create the reflection you can see me do this come and choose noise um change to hsb and reduce the saturation i'll uh, use the randomize key to uh look for the best rails here click on ok change from linear to angle style now uh is there anything i forgot i think i'll go back uh, the roughness take it to 100 to make it more intense now click on ok blending mode to color dodge color dodge is the best blending mode for reflections so take it up scale accordingly okay you can see how terrible it's looking right now make it look super realistic very soon let's hold on okay i'm going to filter blow gaussian blow and adjust the radius uh, for this we use uh, around 13 to 14 13.9 for this adjust the feel the color dodge uh, blending option has this special effect when you adjust the feel you can see now go to gradient and use this gradient to remove this reflection from some part of the image as it should actually be in real life so adjust opacity adjust fill or opacity before after amazing result so now we can talk with the individual before and after and readjust the shape just what feels good to the eye is what we are looking for here to taste this is just somehow to blend in everything and make it more appealing more realistic if you haven't liked this video please already like it uh subscribe to this channel for more amazing stuff because we'll be putting out more content related to photoshop related to photography to subscribe to this channel and see you in another beautiful video thank you